you can see I've got two duplicates here. So I've got uh, king and king, and I went ahead and I intentionally duplicated those. And so a couple of things. Number one, if you want to deduplicate your records, there's a couple of things you need to do. You basically can just go ahead and click on um, deduplicate. So in the upper right-hand corner, you get three dots. You click on that, and you click on the deduplicate. You get this for leads, you get this accounts, or you get this for contacts. And then you have a choice. You can do it on account name, phone, fax, and website. So if I was to go ahead and do this on account name and I would just do the old find and merge duplicates, it says it's gonna take a few minutes, but since there's only 15 here, it should be relatively quickly. And it's gonna come up and say, hey, guess what? We successfully merged two accounts. It found two, they had exactly the same name. It went ahead and merged them. So if I refresh the screen, you will see now I only have one king. It will do that for you. If it finds that the record is close, the name's the same, but maybe a couple other things are different, it'll actually flag that and say, hey, take a look at it and see what you can do to go ahead and, you know, maybe it's not a duplicate, maybe there's a reason you want it that way, but you really shouldn't have duplicate accounts. But a couple of things I wanted to point out is that you'll notice when you go to deduplicate an account and you choose that deduplicate an account screen, the defaults are account name, phone, fax, and website. But you actually can have other things and you can make sure you never get any duplicate accounts. So the way to do this is go into settings, go into modules and fields, and I'm gonna go right into accounts, which we've been talking about. So it's settings, modules and fields, and then account. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on your standard view. And when you're in here, one of the things you'll see is you have all of the fields that are laid out for you. Well, if I was to hover over the account name and click on the little three more dots, one of the things I can say is do not allow duplicate values. And if I do that, it places a little word unique inside that field name for you. And now nobody in your company will actually be allowed to create a duplicate record. It won't allow them. If they type in the same exact name for a company, it's going to say this already exists. You can't do that. And you can make most fields unique if you need to. So when you're looking at contacts, by all intents and purposes, the mobile number should be unique, the email should be unique, and if you make those unique, it won't allow the person to technically dedupe that record. The other interesting thing about this is if you have a field that should be unique in your industry, for example, you know, they've got one that comes the standard, which is ticker symbol here. So if I go into the ticker symbol and I say, do not allow duplicate values, and now I go ahead and I save this record, and I save and close it, if I go back to that same account screen and I now want to deduplicate these records, it's going to actually throw the ticker symbol as one of the things I can deduplicate off of because it is should be a specific unique record. These also, it really doesn't make matter there, but where this really becomes important for you is when you're doing imports and updates. When you make a field unique, it also allows you then to tag off of that field as the field to look at a record to make sure that this is this is how you find that record when I'm updating a record, or don't import this record if this field matches. You can only do it on uniques. So again, we say, say, say no to duplicate records because they do nothing but cause pain and heartache. And uh, I think, uh, I think Tyler, we've seen enough of it. And if there's anything we can do to spread the word and just kind of start doing these basic, basic things, it's going to make your CRM clean. And at the end of the day, I think you're just going to be a lot happier across the board with the, with the quality of your CRM and the way your people can work in the CRM and the quality of that data that you're going to be able to get out. Yeah, the big thing that comes down to it too is just that if you've got two versions of an account, maybe people are storing data in one and not the other. Maybe you've got related list items like tasks or calls or meetings that really should be under the account, but you're not seeing them because they're under the other, right? So when you have these duplicates, you can lose a lot of the contextual information that you know the CRM is kind of designed to provide for you. Um, so though it seems like a minor annoyance, it can actually have a significant impact on you know, how easy and um, effective it is to work inside of the CRM. You know, the worst thing in the world is to know that you filled out this field, to know that you had a conversation with someone and you definitely collected you know, their budget, right? But then you pull up the account, you pull up the contact and that budget field's empty. You know, because you're looking at the wrong version of John Smith. So you want to just try to avoid that situation ever happening. Mm -hmm.